Sometimes in life, things don't always work out or go as planned. And you have to be grounded in what you're doing and within yourself to be able to overcome the obstacles or trials that are thrown in front of you that you either have to climb over and sometimes that climb can be a lot more difficult so like I said things are thrown your way um, sometimes two or three things are thrown in your way and uh, it can become overwhelming but with certain things within yourself that you can find and have to dig for you can come out of it and become a stronger person and be, become a better person it's all how you approach your situation whatever it is today the build did not go the way that I wanted it to my day did not go the way that I wanted it to and my week did not go the way I wanted it to but I have things in my life that bring me joy and peace and I know I'll get through it all so let's take a look at what I did get done So right by this store um, is where I was going to put the stove. Then there's this area where the wheel well comes out and that window ends. So between those, this pillow right here, I was going to put some wood and do a dividing wall. So this table, I'm cutting in half which I'll show you, but I'm going to take the edge off it because there's a lip that go, like hangs over the edge for the tabletop. On one side, I've got to cut it off. I'm going to cut it in half so there will be no back legs. And then it will rest along this board here. And that's where I'll secure it to and also secure it um, in the back because it'll have no back legs and I'm doing the same on the other side but unfortunately it's probably like two inches wider than I expected so I wanted a clean cut for this window but I'm not sure if I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna get it and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that window anyway because that's where the stove pipe is gonna be yeah, that's another thing I gotta think about. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm in a bind. Because that's where the stove pipes gotta go through. And it's all hinges on that wall. Great. Wonderful fun. I also had to lift this up because this drawer was jam it was jammed down on top of this drawer. And now there's a little bit of space. So now I can pull it open and shut with no problem okay let's try to figure out what I'm gonna do there it is uh, so you can see right here so where the lights the sun's in my eyes I can't see what I'm recording I made it flush to this part here and cut it down so there is still a lip See, that's flush. I broke that a bit, but that's okay. Um, it's going to be hidden. And then there's that lip there. So I don't know if that's going to pose a problem with my bed. But it's 1.6 inches of the bottom part of my bed, so I don't think it will. But there we have it. So we'll get it in and we'll take it from there. Okay, so there is the table cut. Now, on this side of it, it's going to be, I'm going to put another 2x2 two two here, and one at the, on this side in the back as well, and extend it up 
to the ceiling on the rear side like on this side over here I'm going to run planks to the 2x2 two two to make the divider wall and then I'll do the same on this side um, so it'll be wood planks on both sides on this one here I'll do the same because it's the only way if you look here it comes to that line that I needed it to come to and it gives me a little bit of space um, to add a molding on either side and on the bedside I'll have the planks running to the wall um, to make the, to climb up the two by twos that go to the ceiling and then uh, so the bedside of the wall will be planked but on this side because of the stove I'm going to put stainless steel on this side it'll be like a stainless steel wall with molding on either side by the two by twos and that's what will hold it in and I could probably even have a part maybe where I can attach it to the thing. right now if you look up there I just have a very fine you can't even see it uh, there we go that's what it's resting on so it's just temporary in there I'm going to get two by fours and secure those tables in the back with the same idea just run the two by four along the wall and then glue the ta underside of the tabletop to the top part of the um, two by four that it's going to rest on and that should keep it secure those that opening there um, that is where I'm going to put a door so I have to make a door for that so that's basically my cupboard it's a table cut in half i don't know it'll work why not and then this side as well as that side will be all enclosed because everything's good the build is going to continue out so yeah there you have it uh, that's one and a half I might end up having to extend it out once I, on this side I'm gonna have to extend it out where about my hand is about another six inches um, because if you can see here that is where my cooler is back is gonna be all where the stove is and I need, need a certain amount of space for the stove have a distance between the front of that seat to about where the cooler is so that'll give me my footage that I need from the front of the stove and then but I need also a certain amount of footage away from that door which is also going to be covered with the stainless steel sheet and I'm not sure if I'm going to somewhat cover that one with the stainless steel sheet I don't know we're just going to have to play it by ear. Things change as you build it. But taking a step back, let me see. Sorry for the erratic recording, but you can see there we have it. It's the beginning of the build from the bed out. Everybody have a good week. Um, it's running late. I still have those that would. I brought two by fours and four by ones. I think it's four by ones. I don't know. And I needed two by ones and two by twos. After I get things going, I realized I brought the wrong wood because everything changed and it's in storage. And I forgot to pick up long screws. So by the time I go back, I will, and pick it up in storage. It's going to start getting dark, so I don't have time and go to the store and pick up screws. So that's going to have to wait till next weekend, but I'm going to have to pitter patter. And there we go. It's looking up. Things are slowly coming together. Okay, guys, have a great week. I'm going to try to put up another video through the week. I've got it half. Um, 
half of it's done already and uh, we will be back with more of a build next week. I think I'll have more hours starting next weekend to be able to get a little bit more done. So we got to get this thing built out quick. I can get the stove platform made and the stove in right where the cooler is going to go. Um, and if it gets cold and with the staining that I have to do and the back doors and the hood that I have to paint, I might end up having to rent um, part of a garage in Calgary. They have places, a place where you can rent a bay in Calgary to work on your cars and stuff. So I might end up having to do that a couple of days to get everything caught up if the cold hits before I can get that hole in the ceiling done and the, the, the chimney in. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep working till I get laid off and keep building. Everyone have a great week. Until I see you again, you take care and stay positive and just keep pushing through life.